Koheleth, Ecclesiastes 5. Guard your foot when you go to the house of Elohim, and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. For they consider not that they do evil. Be not rash with your mouth, and let not your heart be hasty to utter anything before Elohim. For Elohim is in heaven, and you upon earth. Therefore let your words be few. For a dream comes through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known by multiple multitude of words. When you vow a vow unto Elohim, defer not to pay it, for he has no pleasure in fools. Hath pay that which you have vowed. Better is it that you should not vow, than that you should vow and not pay. Suffer not at your mouth to cause at your flesh to sin. Neither say you before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should Elohim be angry at your voice and destroy at the work of your hands? For in the multitude of dreams and many words there are also diverse vanities. But fear at Elohim. If you see the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regards, and there be higher than they. Moreover, the profit of the earth is for all. The king himself is served by the field. He that loves silver shall not be satisfied with silver, nor he that loves abundance with increase this is also vanity. When goods increase, they are increased that eat them. And what good is there to the owners thereof, saving the beholding of them with their eyes? The sleep of a laboring man is sweet, whether he eat little or much, but the abundance of the rich will not suffer him to sleep. There is a sore evil which I have seen under the sun, namely, riches kept for the owners thereof to their hurt. But those riches perish by evil travail. And he begets a son, and there is nothing in his hand. As he came forth of his mother's womb, naked shall he return to go as he came, and shall take nothing of his labor, which he may carry away in his hand. And this also is a sore evil, that in all points as he came, so shall he go. And what profit has he that has labored for the wind? All his days also he eats in darkness, and he has much sorrow and wrath with his sickness. Behold, that which I have seen, it is good and comely for one to eat and to drink, and to enjoy the good of all his labor that he takes under the sun, all the days of his life, which Elohim gives him, for it is his portion. Rather, for it is his portion. Every man also to whom Elohim has given riches and wealth, and has given him power to eat thereof, and to take at his portion, and to rejoice in his labor, this is the gift of Elohim. For he shall not much remember at the days of his life, because Elohim answers him in the joy of his heart. 